Hello friends, my name is Real Emil, welcome back to Need for Speed Underground 2 and we are continuing on our Let's Play today. Now in the previous episode, uh, I sucked at driving, so I'm going to try and not suck at driving this time around. Um, also, I may have rage quit because my driving was absolutely atrocious. I just can't win these bloody drift events anymore apparently. Yeah, so that's fun. We're going to give this drift event uh, another go and if we can't do that then... Uh, we'll go do some normal events for it, and I figured some of you might be a bit bored of drifting. Yeah, so that's fun. <laughs> also, in the last episode, in case you didn't see it, uh, we got on the cover of Super JDM Rice Weekly, and yeah. Right, let's go. Uh, there's a Ford Focus in front. It's a Tangerine Focus. It's the same colour as our Persia was once upon a time. That's actually a pretty tricky corner. I'm not going to lie, this course is actually pretty, you know, ah, uh, god. <laughs> also, yeah, I tried this drift event before and I was just atrocious at it. I kept uh, spinning out, which, yeah, that's a bit of a, I'm not going to show you that footage, obviously, because I'd be pretty atrocious, but it was not fun. Ooh, speaking of which, though, that was decent enough. Hey, eh, give me credit for that, at least. <laughs> uh. I think most of the people who like JDM have gone away ever since I chose a Persia at the start of this Let's Play, so, you know. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to cry too much over the decision of whether that was good driving or not. I personally think it was. It looked exciting to me. Uh, yeah, we're doing not too bad. Uh, we're winning by a margin. Uh, we're always last in these drift events, but it doesn't particularly matter as long as we've got all of the coolest drifts and stuff and that Sentra... Has lost it before the finish line. There we go. You are winner. Yay. That focus looks silly as well. Right. Back to explore mode. There's another drift event near here. I'm not sure whether to go drifting again or whether to do some actual proper uh, racing. Because, you know, people who actually like proper racing might be watching. Uh, do, 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 do. Decisions, decision. Ooh. Engine... Is that... Oh, is there... Actually... Ooh, turbo cover! Uh, da, 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 da. It's looking... Head to the star maps and I'll call you in... Ooh! Okay, we've got another special event. Let's go there. All of the special events. And um, what's that? Side mirrors. Excellent. Turbo magazine! We don't have a turbo either! <laughs> oh, actually, we probably do. We just don't have the gauge for it. Ahem... <laughs> Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting another cover to come up so soon. I thought they were more spread out. I know there's 10 uh, magazine covers in total. I think we can actually check. Magazines, one, DVD covers, one. Okay, so there's 20 magazine covers and 10 DVD covers. And they just depend on how awesome your car is, really. No, I'm not 100%, but I do think you have to do these to actually uh, physically get through the game. Well, I'm not sure if you can actually complete the game with just having, you know, a one-star Peugeot. Uh, oh. Yes, of course. The DVD covers are the ones that you actually have to have, like, a decent car for. I think magazine covers are the ones that you just have to race to. I'm not sure if there's a specific amount of visual style points you actually need to get on the cover of any of these magazines. Well, I assume there is, but I assume, you know, the requirements aren't quite as bad as those of the DVD covers. Anyway, we need to get to a star. This is navigational skills, and I'm not good at them. We've also got the Mark IV GTI. <laughs> you get over... Outdragged by a Rover 25, mate, so don't try and outdrag me and my mighty Peugeot, which is apparently a bit less mighty at the moment. Uh, and drift around there. And there we go. We've even got most of the time to spare. Whatever. Uh, yeah, sweet. 617 pounds. Or whatever it is. Uh, bank that's what we use in this game isn't it i don't like the circuit races but that's a sprint race now so we'll go do that 
Yeah, I don't know what it is about Need for Speed games. I just don't like doing the circuit races. They always bore me compared to the sprint races and the drift events and all the other style of events. Well, as in Forza, I don't mind. So, I don't know what that says about me. Add nitrous oxide to your car. Maybe, I, maybe the problem is I just shouldn't play Forza. Maybe I should play Need for Speed games for a living. Oh wait, they've all been terrible since, well, technically since Most Wanted, because Most Wanted was the last, like, properly awesome one, but I mean, I quite liked Carbon. Ew. Well, that Hyundai sort of got pushed into me. Oh my god, that Peugeot has got like a, what is that? Is that like the wing from a Lexus LFA or something has just been glued onto that? That Sentra had huge body roll for the... I gather the Sentra is a terrible car nowadays. I was watching one of them Jalponic, um, what car should you buy? And they mentioned the Sentra very briefly and then just said no one talks about the Sentra. Uh, so I assume something went horribly wrong with the Nissan Sentra. Maybe it's like the Dodge Neon. I mean, that car always makes me laugh. It was actually considered cool at one point, the Dodge Neon, and it was in like the 90s and then for some reason uh you know it's like the pt cruiser it just became horribly uncool i guess that's kind of what happened with stuff like the pacer and uh, to be fair i'm like a huge advocate for the pacer so i won't let you say anything bad about the amc pacer but that was a car which was originally actually considered pretty savvy and then you know Everyone thought it was the worst car in American history, which, you know. I also like the worst car ever made in American history, which is the Ford Pinto. Bye bye, Nissan Sentra. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> you're not good for the Ameri you're not good enough for the Americans, so you're definitely not gonna be good enough for the pinnacle of French automotive development. Um Yeah, I mean the 106 is probably the last great um Small car from Peugeot. The 208's alright, but... Uh, the 207's alright. I wouldn't call them spectacular. Uh, yeah, nothing on this little thing. And what came after this? It was the 107, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the less we say about the Peugeot 107, the better. Let's just put it this way. If uh, Underground 3 came out in 2008, I can certainly assure you the Citroen C... Well, oh, sorry, the Peugeot 107 would definitely not be... Uh, a tuner car. I wish they kept on the Underground series. I mean, the Speed 2015, I will be getting it, don't worry. But I'm still not sure about it. There's Porsches in the game, and that means it's going to be one of those not quite full street culture games. But I mean, I don't know. I could be talking out my ass, and probably am. Um, it, it, I've, I reckon it's going to be a good game. Whether it's going to be as good as something like the old Underground games, uh, I don't know. Um, I would hate to say, just because I'll end up eating my words. But right -o. uh Street X is quite fun, but we're quite far away from that. We're a lot too far from a drift event. So I think we'll finish up what's going on in this area, so this drift event, and then we will... Uh, move down the map towards that Street X event. We'll do a Street X event, end this episode off here, and then next episode uh, we'll continue doing much of the same. I guess that's the plan for now, just do races. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, there's nothing else we can really do at this moment in time. Uh, we haven't really got enough visual mods to start going for full uh, magazine covers. And even if we had, we haven't got the cards for it just yet. So, I mean, I don't know, I assume next URL event we're going to start getting some decent cars in the auto showroom. I do hope so. Um, oh, God, I forgot this was a drift event. <laughs> I've got about drifting for a second there in a drift event. That's... Holy crap. Um, ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> if we didn't hit the wall, then that would have been sick. Look, I'm even using drifter language. Oh, that's also drifter language. <laughs> It means cock, my car's gone into a wall. I watched that happen to an FSO Polonaise yesterday. That was funny. Right, let's go. Yes, I know I'm too slow. I've just got off the line. <laughs> I don't think there's, you know... 
It's a Peugeot. How fast do you want it to get off the line? It's not exactly going to be setting world record time. You see, if that was me doing that drift, I would have got more points than that. I don't know what the AI get graded on. <laughs> We're winning again, so that's good. The GTIs ended up going backwards. Oh my god. There we go. And I think we win. Uh, I sh oh, god, no. Um, What's his name? That guy in the centre is winning. Oh, wait, no, he's not. The guy in Centro was winning. Oh, we even pulled off a colossal mega Superman drift. I have no idea. I assume each drift has different names. I, I mean, I don't know. Oh, look at that kind of reverse um, kind of style points. At least we're not finishing last this time. As in, you know, last of the pack. So I guess that's something cool. Um, is the Centro? We did win, didn't we? Yeah. A golf got close. Is the centre front drive or rear drive? I assume it's front. I'm not sure on that though. The centre might be rear drive. Um, mm, I don't know. In the context of Need for Speed, it doesn't really matter that much. Right. Okay. On to Street X. There's quite. There's two Street X events. Okay. Cool. We'll do both of them then. And then we'll uh, round it off and, yeah, go back to boring events, I guess, until something interesting happens. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, the circuit and sprint races are cool and all, but eh, who wants to do them? We want to do the interesting events like Street X and Drift X and Drift Super Drift. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a Burger King logo. Oh, yeah, we've got to go on a mission to find a Burger King store, haven't we? We've got to go on a mission to find a... Uh, Whatever that thing I was looking at was. Uh, graphic shop. Uh, don't need a graphic shop. Could do with a performance shop soon. I kind of want uh, nitrous. Because, you know, it's need for speed. Uh, so. We'll definitely get it before the next uh, underground racing event. Yeah. I just remembered as well. Don't them highway face-off things. They get you extra parts, don't they? I swear I've seen that somewhere. Uh, Street X. Cool. Alright, let's go. Let's go and street in X, yo. Because I am so hipster. God, the old Xbox controller was hideous. To be fair, it's not quite as... Oh, we've got a Supra. Okay. Uh, we're seeing Supras. Now, the Persian... Well, okay. I was about to say, uh, thank you, Golf. I'm sorry I ever criticised you. <laughs> I was about to say, we might have some trouble here, but no, the uh, Mark IV GTI has decided that it, it was tired of getting taunted because it was slower than a Rover 25. It decided it was going to start bullying Supras um, for whatever reason. Is that guy called Al or AI? I was going to say, if it's called AI, that's the laziest name ever. 13 second lap time. Hell yeah. I think this is... This must be one of the only race events in the world where a Peugeot would probably be faster than a Bugatti Veyron. Because uh, if I had a Veyron, I certainly wouldn't race it around here. Or a Hennessy Venom, actually. Let's go with that. Actually, I can think of many events where Peugeot would be faster than a Hennessy Venom at because the Hennessy Venom is disgustingly horrible to drive. 58 seconds. I love them events. They're great. You get 300 quid for it as well. That pays for our splitters and spoilers, yo. Even though this car doesn't have either of those. Might have a splitter on the back, I don't know. I haven't really looked. <laughs> I don't really look at the car, I just sort of look at the road ahead. Uh, need for speed. Underground to need for speed. Alright, off to that Street X event. The yellow event there now is. Oh! Okay, URL events popped back up. Sweet. We'll do this uh, Street X event and then next episode we will go do that URL event and we will also get some nitrous for our huge oats. With what button activates nitrous? A. So B's handbrake. Okay. So where have I got A for handbrake from? God knows. Uh, B seems like. That would be 
Ooh, this Street X course is a bit more tangly. I wish I'd bought a wing like that amazing, uh, was it a Focus? It had like Batman on the back of it. Um, it's a cool brown uh, golf. Excellent. Because why not? Uh, oh god. Okay, so this course is actually pretty atrocious. Yeah, you see, this is what Street X kind of develops into eventually. Luckily, the AI aren't putting me to shame. They're actually hitting corners too. Aha! Your Golf has understeer. My Peugeot has awesome steer. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright. It's, it's that spider body kit, you see. We are struggling before. As soon as we put that body kit on, though, we just started winning events left and right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's grown on me a little bit now. The back end doesn't look quite as strange as it used to. It's definitely helped the whole profile of the car as well. You see, as much as I'm not a huge fan of modifying cars, I will admit lower cars usually do look a bit better than higher up cars. Uh, which is probably why crossovers always look so damn ugly, am I right? Yeah. That'd be funny. Let's have me of speed. Oh. You see, that's the only time I'd like a duke. If it was in Need for Speed Underground 20, or oh, Need for Speed 5th, 2015, whatever it's called, and I can put a massive wide body on it and a huge amount of nitrous. Yes. <laughs> Need for Speed developers have just... Oh, God. Have the Nissan Duke. Let me put a wide body on it. Let me shove a GTR engine in there. Let's put a gazillion horsepower in it, because apparently that's what a GTR engine has from stock, according to the internet. Yay. More reputation points. Not quite as many as last time. But we're not doing too bad. And there's a crappy looking SUV with flames on it. Challenge the talents of even the most experienced racers. No, they will just piss you off. Ooh. Sport Compact Car Magazine. Ooh, so we got another cover. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to do the Underground Racing League, find a performance shop, and get ourselves on the cover of Hot Hatch Weekly, or whatever it was called. Anyway, friends, I want to thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Meal, and until next time, farewell.